Almost 30% have closed for good. The Americans who need help with rent, already they are $25 billion in the hole. So will the relief stimulate this economy or will it simply staunch the bleeding? Lawmakers from both sides say the $900 billion is just a temporary bandage. This bill is not sufficient. It's emergency, but it's not enough. And one place it's not enough is relief to people. Here it is, everybody. Joe Biden has proposed a brand new bill that will benefit millions of Americans in stimulus cash. It's good to see that President Biden is finally ready to help out the American people with stimulus payments. Here is how to get your stimulus check. So folks, as Congress agrees towards the end of the year and stimulus payments, members have one demand. There is no corporate tax breaks unless anti-poverty and family support measures are re-upped. In a letter to Representative Jay Paul. Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer said they are not going to consider any end-of-year legislation with corporate tax breaks unless there is some commensurate support and relief for families and workers. It includes bringing back more generous child tax credits and extending the expanded income tax credit, a suit of new tax measures that drastically reduce poverty after being included in Joe Biden's initial stimulus package. The first round of child tax credits were left alone, under which parents could receive 300 bucks a month per child, lifted 3 million children out of poverty. The earned income credit, on the other hand, targeted lower-income Americans. It was expanded to make childless adults eligible for up to nearly 7,000 in tax breaks. But Congress failed to renew the credit when tax negotiations over the Build Back Better Act stalled, leaving some families struggling after months and checks ended in December. The lawmaker said in a letter, while this Congress has delivered on many priorities, we have been able to continue some of the essential programs, like the child tax credit. And I agree, folks, but as the Fed continues to raise interest rates, it's pinching many families on housing costs, including rising rental rates. Democrats are still mulling on what they want to do, and whether they're able to do it. In the last month of holding both chambers of Congress, the 58 members signed on to a letter and a warrant of expansions to credits to come in January next year. That means more stimulus money for all of you next year in 2023, and also this year in December. One tax measure of particular interest as the year ends is a restructuring of credits to research and development. Under the former president's tax law, a change that would allow companies to deduct those expenses every year and would increase revenue was meant to kick in by 2022, just as part of the Build Back Better Act. The House proposed delaying that measure start for four years, which would have amounted to an estimated $213 billion. That's a blow to revenue over the next 10 years, while benefiting large corporations. And so now, they are urging that any potential delay of that measure be coupled with expansions of both child tax and earned income tax, something that some Senate Democrats have previously signaled they might be open to. Folks, what do you think about Joe Biden and stimulus payments? Will he do more for the American people? Will he send out stimulus checks? Well, tell me what you think. Because in October, the IRS sent notices to more than 9 million families who didn't file their federal tax returns just to let them know that they might qualify for these checks. Now, the enhanced 2021 credit can still be claimed for next year's taxes. The deadlines to use the online filing tool to claim the tax credits was just November and November 18th for the IRS free file program. However, according to CNBC, individuals and families who missed both of these still have to put three years just to get that stimulus cash. Many states have already sent down inflation relief checks to low-income households. States including Rhode Island and Connecticut have already passed their own child tax credit bill and have sent out direct payments to provide relief to struggling families just to make sure people get the stimulus cash. But do you think that President Biden will keep his promise on this? Uh, no, still, you know, we're still in uh, conversations, um, and we, we're going to have a plan A and a plan B. That's, that's how I operate. Uh, you know, we need help. You know, we spent a lot of money. Uh, this was a national problem, and it was a state problem, and we need help from the state government, and we need help from uh, the national government. I'm, I'm sorry. Are you hopeful that you'll get it? I, I'm always hopeful. You know, we say in the Baptist church, I'm prayerful. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Mayor, just going off of that last question, that um, one billion that the city hasn't gotten yet from the feds was built into the November plan. The city council's been critical that that was put into the plan while they have identified one billion dollars in tax receipts that was not put into the plan. You mentioned tax receipts before. You know, what do you think of that criticism? I think that's the, you know that's the best part of this um, form of government. We have these checks and balances. We have these conversations. They have their fiscal. 
uh, experts. I have mine and the team over there in OMB. Of, you know, we need to be prepared for the economic tsunami that is coming towards our city. No one is saying that is not true. They are saying, uh, how do we get prepared, prepared for it? We're having conversations with that. But there's no who filed jointly and made less than $150,000 and have dependents will receive the most. We're talking about $1,050. That's $350 per person plus another $350 for dependents. This is the largest bracket representing more than 80% of beneficiaries out there. Individual filers who. A huge day is coming for Social Security beneficiaries, those of you on SI and those of you on SSDI. There is a ton of information about the fourth stimulus check, social security benefits, that I want you guys to know, so continue watching this video. In September, more than 48 million retired workers received social security benefits, and yet there are many individuals who remain disinformed about the program. For instance, a survey by the Nationwide Retirement Institute shows that more than two-thirds of Americans don't know the benefits increase largely based on inflation. The Social Security Administration does indeed enact a cost of living adjustment each year to try and help beneficiaries keep up with rising prices. In fact, after battling runaway inflation over the past year, beneficiaries will see the largest COLA in four decades in 2023. But a few other important changes are coming to Social Security next year. Scorching inflation hit the U.S. economy hard in the past year, driving up the cost of food, utilities, and medical care, among other necessary goods and services. Fortunately, Social Security benefits will gain 8.7% COLA in 2023, to impact the rising prices that everyone's facing. And there will be the largest COLA in 1982. So, in December, beneficiaries will receive a COLA notice by mail, providing the exact details of the new benefit amount. The SSA estimates that the average benefit paid to retire workers will rise by about $150 to $1,827 per month in 2023. That means the average retiree will see an extra $752 over the course of the year. The Social Security Administration identifies any individual on retirement benefits as a retiree. It's possible to keep working while receiving Social Security checks. And that said, in addition to the permanent penalty for claiming Social Security early, workers claiming benefits prior to full retirement age, which is also known as FRA, may receive a temporary benefit reduction based on their income. The earnings limits typically increase each year based on changes in general wage levels. In 2023, the lower limit is $21,000 and the higher limit is $56,000. For beneficiaries under FRA for the entire year, $1 in benefits will be withheld for every $2 in earnings that exceeds $21,240. But for beneficiaries who will attain FRA in 2023, $1 in benefits will be withheld for every $3 in earnings exceeding $56,000 $56, prior to the reaching of um, FRA. The formula used to calculate 